James, they call him King James on Twitter, mm -hmm. is making a political statement on the cover of Sports Illustrated's December issue, which names him Sports Person of the Year. Is it political or not? We'll talk about it. The three-time NBA champion is wearing a giant safety pin on his lapel, a symbol adopted by anti-Trump protesters after his election win. LeBron was a Hillary Clinton supporter, as you may know, and even joined her on the campaign trail in Cleveland days before the election. He's quoted in Sports Illustrated as saying, when I was growing up, I didn't have my father, so you looked up to people in positions of power. It could be athletes or actors or leaders like presidents. I think that parents could use some of those people as role models. But when we elect a president who speaks in a disrespectful way a lot, I don't know that we can use him in our household, end quote. Mm -hmm. Now, Sandra, I'm coming to you because earlier you had a take that was kind of funny, but also, you know what, maybe it isn't all about politics. Gosh, Harris, I was joking. <laughs> it was really funny. I suggested that maybe he had a tear in his suit right before the photo shoot happened and they had to pull it together. Look, cause, because he is not saying why he was wearing that. It is just exactly. a symbol. And we're, we, I guess, are um, I'm guessing that's why he was wearing it. But I don't know about you guys, but most people I talk to, and I am a sports watcher, I know a lot of sports watchers, we kind of want politics left out of it. Yeah. And so these kind of statements, it's fine that they have their political beliefs and they share them with friends or family, but this is clearly a statement if that is why he is wearing that safety pin, and a lot of people are just exhausted from it. Let's keep yeah. politics out of sports. Well, and if we weren't exhausted after Colin Kaepernick, <laughs> oh, God. and you know how exhausted I got, <laughs> and vocal, uh, you and me both. Um, I, I mean, it's kind of, we're at a sensitive yeah. point. But do we really want to be politically correct? So if, we're, if people are preaching about not being politically correct, can they just live with the lapel pin at this point? Yeah, I mean, can live it, with it. But I mean, I think the elect one of the great things about this election is it put celebrity endorsements in perspective, political endorsements yeah. in perspective. Mm, what, does they, they matter? It didn't work. Yeah. By the way, I want to say, because I love LeBron. It didn't work. But he That's also perfect. said, I hope, one I, of, I hope Trump will be one of the best presidents ever for all our sakes, for my family, for all of us. So he's not, he's not saying... You know, he's not a never Trump person entirely. He's wishing him the best, which is something not all Hillary supporters. I was have actually going to defend him because I actually prefer this so much more than Colin Kaepernick, which I found yeah. him to be obviously disrespectful. Taking a knee of over our the flag national anthem just and to catch everybody. American up. general. This is peaceful protest. He doesn't believe in public protest. He said, "quote They can feel almost riotous sometimes." I want it to be more about what I can do to help my community. What can I do yeah. so kids feel like they're an important part the growth of America? I'm not here to stomp on Trump. We're here to do our part. Good. Listen, this is the kind of protesting I can handle. I, I don't love it, but I can handle it. Yeah. I, I can say I can handle it and I kind of love it not necessarily because of the position he's taking but because he is saying something and to Sandra's point earlier that I, I agree a lot of people like their athletes to um, stay out of politics they don't want to know their political positions but I kind of think that's a trip because earlier this year when the great Muhammad Ali died um, one of the things that he was very widely respected for was his strong political statements um, and the fact that he was a leader on that front and so I, I find it a bit um, confusing why you know it seems that, that some athletes are, are become heroes around their strong statements of course he was also one of the greatest boxers to ever live but that was also a part of LeBron who James is pretty Ali hot is. that's what I'm saying on the court. LeBron James one of the greatest basketball players to ever live arguably the best I don't know what Michael Jordan would have to say about that but it's an argument he would disagree. right uh, yeah so I think it's just completely fine um, and, yeah. and I have no desire for our athletes to not have a political voice because historically they have and it's something that I think they're entitled to I don't think he's being disrespectful he's not desecrating our flag he's not talking Talking bad about America. He, he wouldn't still stay at a Trump president. hotel. Did we talk but about that? But he still says he wants. Pre Listen, there are people that don't like Donald Trump out there, and some of them are famous. Mm -hmm. And again, I, for the, of all the insufferable morons who have said nasty things about Donald Trump, we talked about Madonna last week. Ooh, LeBron no. James is doing it as in a most respectful I, way as I possible. Agree. And he did comment on that hotel. He said that he did it for personal, not political reasons. It was when uh, the Cavaliers were here in town to play the Knicks and he chose not to stay at the Trump Hotel. Um, you can stay where you want, but I, I, it's interesting. If we're going to be in the world of PC, how do you navigate and not be a hypocrite? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right.